Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I just want to speak for a second about the Beit HaMikdash. Now, the Beit HaMikdash was our home. It was the, the where the 24-7 hour connection was always happening with, between the creation and the creator. It was an experience that happened that everyone was experiencing throughout all of Israel. Meaning, it says in Masechet Tamid that they would smell the incense from Jericho, which is like cities away. Um, the music was just booming through the walls of Jerusalem. The experience, there was a spiritual experience when a person entered into that space. And imagine when it was, when it was destroyed, how deep that affected each and every one of our souls, meaning that was a, my, there was an aspect of my soul that was, that was, that was resting there. We call that, we call that the Shrina. The Shrina is that, that, that divine presence, that divine presence. That like when God reveals Himself inside of this world, right? That's the Shrina. And the Shrina is connected to our souls, and our souls are inside of us, right? But uh, you know what happens is that, that oneness becomes key, like a type of multiplicity, even though the truth is it's all one. Now. But because my soul had that connection and resting place and the 24 hour, 24 um, seven experience, like how could a person feel alone or lost inside of that world? We did it. We had everything, you know. But when it was taken away, when it was destroyed, and it was destroyed because of our because of our own fault, you know, we sinned. Um, There was hatred. There was a lot of hatred, and so we also we got to be we got to fix that with love. We got to fix that by loving, you know, each and every person by doing chesed, by doing good things to each and to each and every one, by loving ourselves. But and the main thing is ourselves. But the point that I'm trying to get here is that is that the reason why people are lost is because we didn't have a temp. We don't have a temple, and so pray, pray hard about the Beit Hamikdash, about that where redemption is about to happen. You know, wake up, wake up, and start. And start asking our Creator to be redeemed once again so we're not lost.